Hey everybody, Reed here. I'm going to show you how to use this Christmas GeoParity PowerPoint file. So the first thing you might notice when you open up the file is that it gives you this enable macros setting. So you need to make sure you click on enable macros to make sure that this will keep score. If you click disable, then the scoreboards will not work. If you're just using the basic version that doesn't have the scoreboards, then you won't get this at all. If you're using the scoreboards and this doesn't pop up, you may need to configure your macro settings. So to do that, you just go to your PowerPoint. Uh, we'll, we'll go right here. To do this, you need to go to your PowerPoint menu and then your preferences. Go to your security and then here. Make sure that disable all macros without notification is not selected. You want either this one or this one, but probably this middle one. So that way it notifies you before it runs a macro. All right, so let's go ahead and look through the file. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, basically, this is your intro slide. Here's some Q&A. And just it lets you know that you need 2010 PowerPoint if you're on a PC and 2016 or newer if you're on a Mac. And the scoreboards won't work on mobile devices, um, like an iPad or a Surface or something like that, if it doesn't have the actual full PowerPoint. And online PowerPoint won't work. Google Slides, Keynote, none of that stuff will work. So you need the full PowerPoint and if you're on a Mac 2016 or newer for the scoreboards to work. Um, all right, so here's kind of walk through. This is an intro slide. These are the categories of the day. Uh, this is the main board where you will navigate to the different questions as people select them. Um, go through all the different questions and answers. You get down to the bottom and you get to like a final geo parody. So this is the basic way if you needed to make an edit, these are all editable files. You can just go in here and you know change change them around. So it's editable. Um, but let's go ahead and launch the PowerPoint to do that. You can click this button down here. You can hit F5 um, or you can go up and go to your slideshow and go to play from the start. There's different ways to get it going, but you need to launch the PowerPoint because a lot of times people are like, hey, I can't, nothing's working. I'm, I'm clicking on things and nothing's happening. Um, it's because you have to actually launch the slideshow. So we'll go ahead and we will launch it. You want to be on this first slide click play so there we go we get kind of the intro going you can push forward or the forward arrow just to go to your next slide um, it's gonna go through the day's categories I'm gonna skip these and I'm just gonna go to home so home is this is the main game board where as you are hosting it um, whether in person or in zoom or however you have a team or a person that says okay we'll take Christmas characters for 200 you go ahead and click this and this will bring up their question. And from here, you have a couple options. You can start the timer. Um, if you want to wait for the chime, sounds like that. So then basically, you're going to read out the question. And then whoever is up is going to try and answer it. And so Scrooge's dead partner's name. Now, if you don't know the answers to all these questions, I have a downloadable PDF that has the answers. So it looks exactly like this. They said Christmas characters for 200. Scrooge's dead partner, who is Jacob Marley. So let's say they say Jacob Marley, and you say, all right, that is correct. Go to response, shows the answer. Um, you can give them a correct sound like that. And then here's what you can do. People ask about the scoreboards a lot. How do you get them to work? All you need to do is whatever team that person was on, you go to their scoreboard. And because this was a $200 question, there's a 200 in the center score box. If you click the correct button, it's going to send that 200 over here. Now, if they had got it wrong, then you can hit this button, and it goes minus 200. So you can use these up and down arrows at any point to adjust them by 100 points. And let's say that you want to start another round or reset the game. Use this eraser button, and this will reset these scores. So we'll do that. You can do it in this screen. I'll go back here reset these one more slide we'll go popular toys 496 people were reselling this 30 dollar red doll for 1500 what's the answer elmo crazy okay so that's basically how you navigate this entire thing again you have your sound effects down here you have your scoreboard you can change them like this you can clear it out here and whatever this question is worth 400 whoever you click correct or incorrect it's going to plus or minus that amount from it so you basically keep going till you eliminate the entire board or until you're done playing go to final jeopardy 
put the question up there, let people write down their answers, and whoever gets the closest wins. So wins that round or whatever it would be if they wagered something or not. It just depends on how you set it up to play. So that is how you use the Christmas GeoParity PowerPoint file. Thanks a lot.